much for spending some time with me today. I'm very excited. We have a little bit of bad news, but it's going to be a great video. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you do, comment down below so I can properly welcome you to my channel in the comments. If you are not new here, hey y'all, I hope y'all are doing well. We are going to be stuffing our Wednesday binder because it's Wednesday. <laughs> it's our mini savings challenge binder. We stuff it with my income I have from my job. We're gonna get right into the video. Let's count up our money. Let's see. All right. We have 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 142. We have $42 today that we're stuffing. This is a great example if you don't have a lot of money at the end of the month or at the end of two weeks when you get paid or at the end of every week, you can still do saving challenges and have fun while saving. Let's see. I have so much to talk to y'all about. Okay, we're gonna do our August saving challenge. I think today is, do we still have a week left of August? I don't know. I thought it was the 20th. Let me see on my computer. I don't know what day it is. So I don't know if we have. Come on. It won't turn on. We have $20 that we're putting in August Savings Challenge. I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this challenge this month, but I'm not too worried about it. We're going to color in the surfboard red. Super cute. Comment down below what you're doing while you're watching this video. Are you also stuffing your savings challenge binder? That'd be so cool if we were doing it today together. It's like we're bestie buds. All right, let's see. Boom. We colored in 20. Um, so it's just I don't know what day it is. So I don't know if this is the last time we're stuffing this challenge so it might be the last time we're stuffing this challenge or I'm not sure so if it is the last time we are $20 short this month but that's okay I'm not too worried about it 20 40 60 70 80 dollars in our August savings challenge that is 80 dollars I didn't have at the beginning of the month so I'm very proud of myself I have released in my shop the 12 month bundle in a three by five inch size so it can fit into an A7 binder. So if you're interested in that, it is on my shop and it is called um, 12 month savings challenge bundle A7. So if you're interested, if you have a smaller binder or you just want um, the challenges to be a little smaller, go ahead and check that out. My link to my Etsy is in the description box down below. I forget that I have this challenge in this binder. So it says I owe you one dollar. So we're gonna put a dollar in here and take out our paper. I didn't get the paper ready because I forgot I had this in my, I thought I was, but apparently I was not. Okay, so this challenge is from, uh, what is it? Fairy Cottage, Fairy Rose Cottage on Etsy, and then she has a YouTube channel called Living Life at 60-ish, or Loving Life at 60-ish, or something like that. Um, this is the Rapunzel uh, Tangled board game she has, and we're going to roll a six-sided dice and see how far we get. Let's see. I feel weird today. I feel off. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in years and I don't know what to say or do. I don't know why this is happening. Okay, two. Maybe it's because I'm nervous about the bad news. Who knows? We got a two. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's a six. Well, that's a six. All right. So we're going, should I do an I owe you? I have so many other challenges. Uh, we don't have that much money left. 
Um, well, we got a six, so we're gonna put 10 and take out four ones. So right now we have $13. Wow, we have $13 and I've only played this game twice. So that's, that's a big amount. <laughs> That is a big amount. Okay, so my camera cut off for some reason. So I'm glad I looked up at the camera or else I would have filmed the whole video and it wouldn't have not been filmed. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I went ahead and moved the sticker, the two spaces, so I know where I am next time. And good thing I didn't stuff anything since the camera cut off. All right, we are going to be doing... The Carrot Challenge from Busy Lizzie's Budget on YouTube and on Etsy. Her daughter is the one who creates the digital products. And I already colored in all the carrots. So now we're going to roll a four-sided die and put the number that we get in each of the humps. So I don't know how much money we have in this challenge. Let's find the four-sided die. I'm keeping it a surprise. I'm not going to count it up because I want to be surprised. Let's see, small number, we got a four, the highest number we could get, okay. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four. Today is just crazy, crazy. All right, let's put the four there. I kinda, I don't wanna put the number I got because I don't wanna be able to edit, edit it. I don't wanna be able to do all the math in my head by looking at it. So we're just going to put an X on the humps. And that means we did that hump of dirt. So I put the $4 in there. I don't know how much is in this challenge. So I'm really excited to find out once we're done stuffing it. Can I zip it up? There we go. All right. So we don't have a lot of money left at all. So let's see what we can do. Oh, this is my new challenge. Okay, so in my shop, I have a new bundle that I put up. It's gonna be in the bundle and save category in my Etsy shop, and it's called the Mini Faith Savings Bundle. And there's three different um, challenges with three different quotes. And this one is Thy Will Be Done. The other one is, uh, what is it? I will be done oh oh my soul is the other one and then the third one is I want to say it speak the name but I don't think it is uh, oh you are mine you are mine so you are mine oh my soul and I will be done and I have all the like you know Matthew 6 9 that kind of thing on there and so each letter you get to decide how much you want to assign each letter to be and then you'll have your total for me I'm going to put each letter being at two dollars so we're going to do red for the T and we're just gonna put two dollars in there today I'm really excited about this challenge Oh, look how cute. I love it. Comment down below if you like the new challenge that's in my shop. I think it's super cute. Let's put the $2. And make sure you go and favorite it in my shop because I would be so excited if you did. Let's see. Okay, so I guess it's time to talk about the bad news. I didn't want to, but I guess it is time. All right, so, um, I am pretty sure I have a strong, strong reasoning. Uh, if you watch my shop closely, you probably have noticed that a lot of my challenges have disappeared. Um, I have taken them down. Well, I deactivated them so nobody can see them, but I can. All the trademarked challenges. So any of the Disney theme, Blippi, Care Bears, Rainbow Bright, um, Winnie the Pooh, Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, 
Snoopy, uh, all of them. I have taken all of them down because somebody who just admires me so much, that's sarcasm, uh, decided to look at my shop, take all the listings that I had that were trademarked, you know, they are trademarked, but whatever, take all of those listings and contact the uh, representatives of all of those companies to report me. So the first person who responded was Peanuts because they have nothing better to do with their lives. But the representative for Peanuts contacted Etsy. They did not contact me. They contacted Etsy and I got an email from Etsy saying that they took down my Snoopy listing, which I only had one Peanuts item in my shop, which was Snoopy. They took it down for infringement of trademark, copyright, intellectual property, whatever. So they took the listing down and then they put my account into a reserve. So any physical items, I do not get the money out of the reserve until they are seen as scanned in by the post office. So, thankfully, my shop is mostly digital items, so that helps a lot with that situation of the reserves, but I still get like $20 put in the reserve that I can't access until the post office scans it in, or it's delivered. I can't remember. Whatever the rules are. So, I'm pretty sure there was a person watching my shop. It's really discouraging and I'm going to tell you it made me really angry because there are shops that have 34,000 sales that are selling all trademarked items, only trademarked items, Disney, Peanuts, um, Wednesday, every trademarked item in the entire world that you can think of. They're still coming out with new items. They're still all trademarked, but I can't because somebody wants to report my shop to all of those people. So, all of those challenges are not available on my Etsy shop. If you want them, okay, if you want the Beauty and the Beast or if you want the Scratch Off, the Care Bear or the Rainbow Bright Scratch Off or any of those items, message me on Etsy. Legally, that's all I probably can say, but message me on Etsy if you want those items and I will help you out wink wink you get what I'm saying message me on Etsy but um, it was very discouraging it was one of the most discouraging things because I still see people posting brand new listings of different like I had to take the uh, root off the ring no red nose reindeer down and I took all of the trademarked items off because I'm pretty sure that they reported all of my items to the different entities that are the trademark representatives and Snoopy was the first peanuts was the first one to contact me so I wanted to be safe and take down all of them so that's why I did that very sad I won't be able to post any new items we're gonna put three dollars in Danielle's favorite saving challenge one two three I won't be able to post any new trademarked items to my shop either because I'm just scared at this point. I don't regret posting the trademarked items. I'm just mad that somebody doesn't like me enough to report me. If you go on Etsy right now and Google or search on Etsy, Snoopy, just the word Snoopy, just the word Snoopy, 50,000 items pop up. 50,000 items. Cups, shirts, key, key rings, um, everything, everything, everything in the entire thing, okay? Anything you can imagine, Snoopy, anything. And I'm the one who got report. oh, I'm still a little upset about it. I'm a little bitter. I just don't understand. But let me count this money up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars in our favorite savings challenge. So I'm a little discouraged and upset but we're trying to push through it because that person who has nothing better to do with their lives is not going to bring me down it's not going to bring me down so i have to breathe through it 
and that's what we're gonna do so that's the update on my shop what I was really upset about is I wanted to come out I was coming out like I was in the process of making a friends scratch off book like it was gonna be an envelope that on the front of it was a scratch off and it was gonna be 10 scratch off envelopes um, where you can put your money in there and it was gonna have the rings for you to put the challenges in and they were all different themes every scratch off was a different theme for the different episodes and it was really cool I had a lot of good ideas they were already like prepped I just needed to print them out and I'm too scared to do that now because I don't want somebody the same somebody who reported me to peanuts to report me to friends and then there's no amount of like strikes or whatever you want to call it where Etsy can just take down your shop so I don't want a chance that the person will report me to a representative of somebody so now that's out the window and I won't be doing that project which I worked really hard on and I worked really hard on a lot of the challenges that I had to take down it took me a long time to make them I'm putting five dollars in my mini summer savings challenge but like I said, I don't regret doing it. I knew that that could happen. But the fact that my shop is only at 3,000 sales, which is a lot of sales, and I'm very grateful for that. But compared to 10,000, 15, 20, 30,000 sales, for my shop to be the one taking the listing down, I was very upset. Anyway. If it was just the Snoopy listing, I wouldn't care, but I'm pretty sure somebody is watching my shop, and uh, it's just discouraging, but uh, that's the update. I'm going to be coming out with new challenges soon, though. They won't be trademarked because, you know, don't want to open up that can of worms, but I am coming out with new Halloween challenges. Uh, you already saw my faith bundle. Um, I do have a scratch off that is already uploaded to my shop and I'll show you that um, once I finish counting this money. We put $5 in the summer savings challenge and we finished coloring in the thermometer. So let's count 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Oh wow, we're five away from getting to 85 or 95. I don't know, I can't remember what I said. Well. My brain's a little all over the place since that happened. But if you're interested in any of those items that are no longer on my shop, contact me on Etsy Messenger. Uh, let's see. We have a dollar left. So, do we have a dollar on here? I bet we don't. We do not. We do not have a dollar on here. So we're going to put the dollar in the mini faith savings challenge. And we're going to color in half of the H. If I can get the marker out. So I hope everything has been going good with y'all. You know, other than that snafu. Actually, a lot of things have been going wrong. <laughs> isn't that fun uh, a lot of things have been going wrong recently but I'm just trying to roll with the punches you know that's all I can do try and stay positive but I hope everything with y'all is going great it's crazy how much can change in a day you know or in a week at any moment really just so much can change and this is my newest scratch off it is called Mini Trick or Treat Savings, and it's $48 worth, and you get 12 scratch-offs, okay? So you get to scratch off 12 icons, and each icon is different. Every single icon under each of these stickers is different than the other one, and it's all trick or treat themed, so there's candy, you know? that kind of thing it's so stinking cute but i can't show you them without showing like the numbers and where they are and everything so if you want a halloween scratch off and a really really cute scratch off with like trick-or-treating theme please 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 purchase this 
and then review it on my shop because I can't show the icons without showing the numbers so it looks so plain and boring but I'm promising you under each sticker it's so stinking cute and I will be doing it on my channel um, probably in September or October because it's so stinking cute I love it so that is the new challenge that is out on my shop right now um, new challenges are coming soon I have a good bunch of good ideas the moving challenge so if you're moving soon I have a movers challenge or moving challenge in my shop I just recently put that up yesterday it is one that has packing tape a moving truck boxes everything like that and I think it's really really cute so if you're interested in that it's in my shop I believe you save $95 with it so that is it for me today sort of a sad story time and angry you know a little upset but that's okay I'm gonna still keep pushing I'm gonna have to be creative with whatever I try to do uh, different themes I'm really sad about the red-nosed reindeer one because I thought that was so stinking cute and the nightmare before Christmas and oh there were so many good ones so many good ones the Coraline bundle like Peppa Pig bundle there were so many good ones but when I took all of those down it was only about 22 items in my shop that were trademarked and I had 200 so now I'm down to like 178 or something I don't know um, so it was just a very small fraction of my shop but those were the ones that brought new customers to my shop so if you could give my shop a little extra love um, just by favoriting or even telling your friends to go favorite them that would mean so much to me right now um, I'm just trying to like balance out my emotions because it's been rough it's been rough and then so many other things that have been happening not with Etsy or YouTube or any of that so um, everything will be better though I know it will I am so glad that you spent your time here with me today thank you so much if you watch the entire video um, comment down below comment down below a cross emoji if they have a cross emoji or a church emoji or something like that so I know that you watch the entire video and don't forget to like this video subscribe comment go check out my Etsy shop in the description and I will see all of y'all what not Thursday or oh, are we doing Thursday I don't know if we're doing Thursday's video yet um, either Thursday or Friday. Thank you so much for being with me today. I will see y'all later. Blessings to everybody and goodbye.